Hello guys, this is Better Mix again, and look at that, Hit Tricks 5, whoa, amazing. I remember when I started uh, the idea for Hit Tricks 1, actually, which was just going to be Hit Tricks, not 1 or anything. Uh, but uh, I had so much uh, ideas that I wanted to to do, uh, that it eventually uh, it turned out into two volumes. And, and then still we have so much material and it turned out in turn turned into four volumes which is which was amazing and uh, the most amazing thing is that uh, a lot of people liked it like you guys um, uh, it's been all over the world big studios uh, personal freelancers and stuff uh, it's been all over the world. I've been so happy that uh, the response that I've got from everyone. And uh, that's why I'm going to keep the series going. And uh, we're going to start with Hip Tricks 5, which is going to be all about cops. I've been asked so much that I do something about cops. That if cops can do that, if cops cool do this, cool do that. But, well... Cops can do a lot of stuff. Uh, it's not uh, like a f it may not be nuke or shake or uh, any other compositing application you need, but you can get a lot of work done. And I personally work in cops every single day. I use it a lot. I use it every single day. I'm not lying. I use it every single day for work, for personal projects and stuff. Because it's really good. It's really a great way to put together uh, your ideas really quick and not leaving the app. You can just get into it, uh, drop some uh, test geometry really quick, uh, quick lighting, and then just composite uh, stuff on top of it really quick and, and see if it's going to work, your idea is going to work. If you need just a simple color correction, you can just do it right there. And as you can see, we're going to uh, do a lot of the stuff. Uh, we're going to start simple, but but it's going to grow. So it's going to be simple at the start, but uh, we're going to go quickly up to ad the advanced stuff and in-depth stuff. And we're going to cover a lot of stuff related to cops and how do you get uh, different passes and stuff. We're going to start with simple compositing, just understanding what that is. And so we so we are all in the same channel and stuff, and then we're gonna go how to integrate directly the your uh, renders from Houdini into Cops, which is a really cool thing. The Houdini is all plugged in, uh, it's all connected in the background, let's say. Uh, and I'm gonna learn how to take advantage of that. Just uh, take your renders directly from from the uh, from 3D into Cops. It's not like first render the scene and then uh, take a sequence of images. No, it's going to be directly into into cops, which is really cool. They're going to start creating uh, a, a crazy uh, dead ray effect that we can just... Uh, it's going to be like uh, uh, something that a, a, a gun like like that one in the picture which will, uh, could shoot or a laser beam or some sort, but it's going to be uh, done mostly in, in cops. But using just very simple geometry from the scene, I'm just gonna see the, the advantage of using these two worlds together, the 3D and the 2D, just in Houdini, uh, that we can make uh, really cool effects just by using, by combining these two worlds uh, really effectively. It's gonna be very fun to do. Then we're gonna do uh, uh, like standard uh, green screen correction. I mean, green screen uh, extracting from from. Uh, from green script footage, of course, using the keyer cop, which is a really cool keyer uh, in Houdini. It can do a lot of stuff you need. Uh, then we're gonna do some color correction because you need color correction you see in, in your scenes to make it uh, integrate better. And, and Houdini has a lot of uh, color correction tools that are, uh, are really good to do just about whatever you want. Uh, then we're going to go into creating custom passes because every composite needs 
uh, custom passes uh, separating the scene into diffuse and depth pass and 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 and, and even special passes like object passes and stuff i'm going to learn how to, to create your own passes from whatever you need in in uh, from shaders and, and that's going to be a really cool thing if you just grasp that thing from all these trends you're going to be uh, very powerful just with that piece of knowledge and then at the end we're going to start building our own tools because Houdini uh, is just like a platform I've always said that Houdini is not like a 3D app it's like a 3D OS like an operating system that you can build on top of and in this case we're going to build uh, a few color uh, a few uh, tools uh, that uh, are actually going to be very cool like we're going to uh, build simple tools like a shadow tool a drop shadow tool a glow tool a uh, tool that's going to let us uh, pixelate images but we're also going to build our own custom keyer uh, our own custom chroma keyer from scratch so that's pretty cool and we're also going to build our a cost uh, our own custom spill removal tool which is going to be pretty cool and and that's going to show you the power that Houdini has, and and the power that the cops, uh, the cops operators uh, uh, have in Houdini, because you can build just about whatever you can think of in Houdini using the power of bobs, and uh, and you can extend it to whatever you want or whatever you need or whatever you want in your shot uh, or whatever your shot requires. So I'm pretty excited about this title, and let's uh, start rambling and let's get into it.